morning, let us pray. Almighty God, we are before your throne. Teach us from your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Brethren, we are pondering about the foundations of intercession. A call to all. Intercession is not for those who are gifted in prayer. Every believer is invited to intercede. And in Hebrews chapter 7, verse 25, the word of God says, Therefore he is able to save completely those who come to God through him because he always lives to intercede for them. Jesus is the founder of intercession. And in turn, we see the three things that concern being in the foundations of intercession. One is understanding that it is our privilege. It is a special privilege God has bestowed upon people to converse with God and catch a glimpse of his concern for others. Intercession gives us a front row to experience God's own plan and through his enactment of his divine plans, we also get to communion with him in these plans. Intercession turns believers from passive spectators to active participation. Intercession turns ordinary believers into co-workers with the Almighty God. The second step of these foundations of intercession is understanding the vision or our vision as intercessors. God shared the predicament in Sodom and Gomorrah with his friend Abraham. This should have been Abraham's focus line or the focus point and intercede for these people in Sodom and Gomorrah. As believers, what are the Sodoms around us? The prodigal sons and daughters lost in partying world, the emotionally detached women holding on to the bottle and casual sex, a neighbor devastated by crime, or neighborhood devastated by crime and drug abuse. There are so many Sodoms within our lives, and therefore all around us we see desperate situations and God's vision, which as intercessor, in turn, we need to focus ourselves within that vision that God has to make this world a better place. It is through the realization of Jesus' work of redemption, we intercede for salvation, healing, reconciliation, peace, stability, and transformation. As intercessors, this is what we ask for in prayer. The third thing in the foundations of intercession is to understand our mission. Abraham stood before God and pledged for a rotten city. He appeared and pleaded for that land and appealed for God's mercy, love, and grace. He said to God, I am sure you would spare the city if you found some righteous people in it. He stated or he started with 50 and went all the way down to 10. God's answer was revealing and for this sake it was a yes or no situation. God spared some in that particular city and that is Lot and his family. Brethren, it is important for us to understand that as an intercessor, God understands the character that we are dealing with in the lives of others. And therefore, in our intercession, it is based on God's promises. Engagement with God is an intercession and it's never a waste of time. It is a privilege we get to understand more of God's ways and works. Brethren, let us seek ourselves to be in intercession and to let us all desire to dive into this wonderful ministry. Jesus is the strength and the foundation of intercession. After we have understood those, those three things, it is important for us to know this, that in those Sodoms of our lives, God has placed us to be intercessors. And it is important for us to understand 
that God has bestowed us the responsibility to go before God, to go before him on behalf of others so that we can represent the requests and the issues affecting our people. May the Lord help us. And I would end in conclusion with the words in Romans chapter 8, verse 34. Who is that who condemns? Christ Jesus who died. More than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. Jesus Christ is a great example of intercession. Let us therefore hold fast the foundations of intercession in our lives and become a blessing to others. In the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.